The adpocalypse has hit me three times now, so I feel I'm in a pretty good position to talk about it. It started in about June of this year, where 3 Clicks Philip kind of got hit. I was emailed, notifying me that two of my videos were inappropriate for advertisers. I contested these, but it was all like, nope, these aren't appropriate. I expected this sort of thing to become a regular occurrence, but it didn't. Before this incident, and since, pretty much every CSGO YouTuber I know of has been hit, only on a much larger scale. The sort that cuts their revenue to a fraction of what it was previously and forces them to find other sources of income to continue doing what they're doing. Honestly, I didn't have a plan in case it happened to me. I was just very thankful for every day that went by, kept my head down and continued working on my content. I mean, what else was there for me to do? All of this changed about two weeks ago, when I discovered a blue notification over on 2 Clicks Philips video page, informing me that some of my videos weren't appropriate for advertisers. I checked and about 400 of my videos were disabled. My first impression of this wasn't too positive. I thought that this was the beginning of the end for my YouTube career. My second reaction was to try and find a reason, or at least a pattern to it. Was it something uploaded recently that had triggered it? Was there a particular type of content that was being targeted? It didn't seem like it. My earlier 3 Clicks Philip videos had been of above average success, but the 2 Clicks Philip example seemed more widespread. It affected two videos from this year, then blanket removed stuff from before 2017. And I mean like, pretty much every video from before this year was affected. Fortunately, I could contest each and every one of those claims. A long-winded and incredibly dull exercise that took me a lot of clicks to do. But since then, I've been receiving regular emails telling me that following manual checks, the affected videos have indeed been cleared of any wrongdoing and have been ad enabled again. In other words, it looked as though YouTube automatically removed ads from my videos to see if I was paying attention, then restored them again once I complained. That's not to say they have all been restored, a few have been denied, but most have returned. Most of these without email notification, and certainly with fewer than a thousand views a week. Which is good, even if clearly these videos had been automatically disabled and then automatically re-enabled again for seemingly no reason. A week ago, this happened to 3 Clicks Philip as well, but only for about 80 of the videos, so it didn't take quite as long to contest. And it also happened to another channel of mine a few years ago, but I don't care that much about that one. Hindsight is a powerful thing. It's easy to reflect upon successful or unsuccessful YouTube channels and to explain why they are as they are, but it's a lot harder to predict the success of one in advance. Likewise, I can think up reasons for why ads on one-off videos had been allowed or disallowed, but it doesn't follow any set rule. Even in the same series, some episodes are disabled and others are allowed for no apparent reason. My rant was disabled, probably because of the thumbnail. Ones where I swear are allowed, maybe because that's acceptable to advertisers? My video about peace is disabled, perhaps because it shows an innocent person being shot. And yet my gory, crazy knife dude from the same series was allowed, perhaps because it's comedy. I just don't know. I'm confused about the whole thing, but apparently not as much as YouTube itself is. And yet, despite all this, at least for now, my ad revenue hasn't really changed from these more recent, full-blown adpocalypses. It hasn't dropped off a cliff. I can't even pinpoint the date the adpocalypse hit, if other YouTubers are to be believed. It seems that I'm some weird anomaly, the only YouTuber who's come off okay from all of this. Other YouTubers have really taken it to heart, saying that the adpocalypse hit them so hard that they were forced to start with gambling ads or whatever. I don't see any need to take drastic measures myself, at least for now. But let me rant about something that might force me to consider Patreon should it become a problem. Since the apocalypse is, any video I upload to my two main channels appears to be okay, ads allowed, until sometime after they're released, when suddenly the ads are switched off again. This could be a huge problem if this happens straight away, but it does look like I get the release day's earnings at least, so it's not too bad. But once again, there seems to be no pattern to when or why these videos are hit. When they are, I have to go through the whole submit for review procedure, takes YouTube a few days to get back to me, all like, oh, your video's okay, so we've enabled them again. But by the time they've done this, I've missed out on several days' earnings. From videos that YouTube itself has accepted are okay. Twice. How is that fair, YouTube? How can you just carry on with such a stupid system in place? Once you get large enough on YouTube, then you get a live chat option where you can speak with a member of staff, which I used to discuss this issue. This feature is a nice touch, but I wasn't expecting the adpocalypse to be resolved so easily. I was informed that if you have 10,000 subscribers or above, then you can get YouTube to manually check your videos before release, without them requiring 1,000 views. This ensures that videos with the potential to make money get priority treatment over ones with less traffic and earning potential, which I guess is fair enough. 
but I did speak up for the little man and said that this wasn't fair on smaller, good channels. It also suggests that YouTube intends to keep the whole auto demonetize and manual re-monetize system in place. And it doesn't exactly help if it doesn't say that the video is demonetized until after its release, but I'll reserve judgement on this until I've made more videos. It's still too early to know what kind of impact this will have on my channels. I suspect quite a bit of this continues. It's certainly a kick in the teeth every time I make new content to know that I may earn nothing from these if the ban hammer strikes launch day. If this happens then I might as well just make content for this channel rather than my two main ones. At least until this one's here as well. I just hope that the adpocalypse is all sorted out soon. But for now at least, I can continue to do what I do. My ad revenue from older videos is enough to sustain me and I do enjoy doing what I do. I love the idea that my content is free for all to view and want to keep it like this for as long as I can. Should this fail, I would probably consider some kind of donation system. I tried Patreon about a year ago but it didn't sit well with me since ads were enough to sustain what I was doing already. I just hope that YouTube stops with the blanket automatic takedowns, admits that there are some very serious issues with the current system, and stops being so quiet about it.